Hello guys, in this video we will tell you how to fix when color management is not working in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we will make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Update your graphic drivers. For this, press Windows plus R key to open the run box. After that, in the run box, type devmgmt.msc and click OK to open the device manager. After that, in the device manager window, expand the display adapter section. It will list all the graphic drivers installed on your computer. Then, right click on display driver and choose uninstall driver. But make sure to uncheck the delete the driver software for this device option in the pop-up if it shows up. After that, go to the top menu in device manager and under the actions tab, select scan for hardware changes. The driver should appear back in the list. If it does not, don't worry. Just simply restart your PC and it will appear back. Then, right click on display driver again and use update driver and select search automatically for drivers. Window will automatically scan for the available driver updates and then download them. After that, just simply restart your PC again to apply the changes. If it didn't work, again right click on display driver and choose update driver. But this time, select browse my computer for driver software. Then, select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the driver you want to install. Generally, it is a pre-selected top option in the list and click next. After that, just simply reset your PC to apply the changes. If even that doesn't work, you can try going to a laptop or graphic and manufacturer's official website and downloading the latest driver for a specific model from there and then simply install the driver and reset your PC to apply the changes. Number 2. Check and reset display calibration. For this, open Windows setting by pressing the Windows plus I key together. After that, choose the system option and in the left sidebar, select display option. Scroll down and click on advanced display settings from there. After that, click on the display adapter properties for the display. Then, choose color management. After that, follow the on-screen instructions to recalibrate your display. Note, if you previously calibrated your display and it's no longer accurate, you should select Reset Calibration Number 3. Verify and adjust color profiles For this, again go to Display, scroll down and click on Advanced Display Settings and under the Color Profile section, click on Color Management. After that, in the Color Management window, go to the Devices tab and check if your monitor is listed with a color profile. If it's not listed, click on the Use My Setting for this device box. After that, in the Profile associated with this device section, select the appropriate color profile for your monitor. Note, if a specific profile is unavailable, you may need to download and install it from the manufacturer's website or use the default profile. Then click Add, then browse to the location of the color profile and select it. And after that, click Set as default profile option to ensure that it's used for your monitor. And number 4. Update the windows. For this, press Windows plus I key to open the window setting. After that, click on Update and Security. And in the Update and Security window, Click on Window Update in the left side menu. After that, click on Check for Update and let Windows search for any available updates and will automatically install them. After the updates are installed, restart your computer and check if the function is working correctly or not. And number 5. Disable Night Light and other display enhancements. For this, again open the Windows setting by pressing the Window plus I key together and click on System and in the left side bar, choose Display option. After that, under the Brightness and Color section, turn off Night Light. Additionally, if you are using HDR, try disabling it to see if it's impact color management or not. Number 6. Perform a System Restore For this, type Create a Restore Point in the window search bar. After that, click on System Restore under the System Protection tab. After that, it will automatically prompt you to select a certain date and open the restoring window. Note. If you previously created a restore point, you should utilize it. Otherwise, a computer will automatically display recommended date for restoration. Then click finish to complete the process. The finishing time is a few minutes. When finished, your computer will automatically reboot. Number 7. Calibrate your monitor manually. For this, type calibrate display color in the window search bar and select the corresponding result. After that, follow the instruction to adjust settings like gamma, contrast, brightness and color balance.